Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And as you see here, I have a PDF pulled up, sent to me by a beloved brother. And um, when you read the title, what does it say? All right. Develop, all right, uh, digital identity and exclusive development. All right. There may be no single factor that affects a person's ability to share in the gains of global development as much as having a reliable identification. Okay. Identity unlocks formal services as diverse as voting, financial account ownership, loan application, all right, business registration, land tilting, and school enrollment. Robust identity systems can also curb illegal border, border crossings and fraudulent financial transactions while guarding against human trafficking and child marriage. Okay, so the answer to the world's problems are leaning towards a digital ID. Digital, digitization of ID systems using a variety of technologies offers numerous benefits to individuals and institutions. This is being presented as a benefit. Okay, this is going to be presented as that peace and safety that the scriptures speak of before the sudden destruction comes. Okay, this this uh, digital ID is going to be the answer to all the world's issues. As you see now, as soon as you wake up, scam likely starts to call you. Okay, you're having all of these instances where accounts are being hacked. Nothing safe. This is all being done by uh, on purpose for a uh, particular thing to be all right, uh, presented to you as a uh, means to stop all of the world's issues, including human trafficking. Okay, if we can therefore put a track on someone, then if you steal them, we can identify them. We can find them. Now, how exactly do you think this will all be complete? Okay. It says, thoughtful design choices, deliberate approaches for relevant data collection and management, and effective rollout all contribute to ensuring that potential harms of digital IDs are minimized and the benefits are truly realized. The example below of Joy, and starting with you so-called black women, okay, Joy, she got a head wrap, this nigga, god damn Joy, look like one of the sisters that comment in their avatars, shalom brother, well, they got, they, they got you. As the model for this new digital ID with a head wrap. The example below of Joy's, <laughs> they're trying to take our joy, man. Journey helps to illustrate how these pieces fit together. By becoming aware of these systems and trade offs, the development community can be a responsible and effective steward of this technology. <laughs> So this is where the world is going. Okay. Now, what can we tie this to prophetically in the Holy Scriptures? Because here it is, you still have particular people saying the, the, the MOTB is a embargo, you know, Christianity, all of these various different things. Where in the hell is these devils using Christianity to forward anything else that they're doing? They're done with Christianity. They're moving on to their the, to a whole nother God, as it says in the book of Habakkuk. Then shall they offend 
All right. Matter of fact, let me pull it up here. Okay, and uh, because I don't want to take this PDF down. See if it pulls up. But as you can see, multiple different features together create a unique identity for joy. Okay. Shalom. Name. Reputation. So basically, it's a digital you. Okay. And that's why they've been collecting all the data on who you really are. Everything you like, everything you, you visit online, everything you click on your phone, every picture you've ever taken, every video you ever recorded on your phone, it's all on a cloud to create a digital you. Okay? And that's why you can think particular things and even say particular things. I want to, you know, I need a, a poncho for the cold, you know? Give me one of those big, you know, ponchos to put over my garment when it get cold. Literally, when you start going to websites, they'll start advertising ponchos to you. Okay, they're creating a, a, a left hand salvation, a left hand God. Remember, it says in the book of Isaiah. Let's get that. Isaiah, the sixty fifth chapter. <laughs> Isaiah 65 and 24. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are at yet speaking, I will hear. And that's what this, this, tech, this technology is going to offer you. All right. Date of birth, your biometrics, qualifications, your address, place of birth, physical description, group membership. Capturing Joy's identity features to create ID systems. Okay, select features of Joy's identity can be captured, stored, and assessed to verify. And there goes that goddamn scam likely. <laughs> All day, just random numbers calling you. Okay, then sometimes you may answer because it don't say scam likely. And the dude, they'll just be silent. To hell with this place, man. Voter ID. Okay. Beneficiary ID. Employee ID. The benefits of digital ID systems. When, when created and used in a, with appropriate safeguards, digital ID systems can provide numerous benefits to individuals and institutions across sectors. Okay. Now, what I was going to get in the book of Habakkuk, first chapter, because this is a prophecy about the Chaldeans then, but then these are the modern day Chaldeans as we get Isaiah the 47th chapter. And what is the Chaldeans? They deal, they deal with magic. Okay. They're the witches and warlocks of today's world, which have been blessed on the left hand side to, to interact with particular demons and receive power to do particular things. When you read um Revelation the thirteen chapter, it tells you let's get that real quick. Revelation the thirteen chapter. Let's see here. Let's see, let me put this on uh hold on. Shapatya. Shalom. I don't believe it showed the brother number. Put it on do not disturb. All right. Revelation 13. And. 13. And he do it great wonders so that he make it fire to come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. This is when NATO was formed. All right, they bombed in Bosnia, Kosovo. Okay, and people were like, oh man, eventually you would have Nagasaki, Hiroshima, all of the wickedness that they've done with the blessing of the sword. That's one of his great wonders, his sword, but it's also his technology. And he deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. 
these we're, we're reading about those miracles. This is one of those miracles that they're presenting. It says when created and used with the appropriate safeguards, digital ID systems, it's going to be your ID, how you present yourself. Now, at some point, it may be tied to the phone, but they're going to go even further. Okay, we, we already saw that Amazon is forwarding this swipe with the hand ordeal. Okay, it says digital ID systems can provide numerous benefits to individuals and institutions across sectors. Okay, it says Joy's ID, you always got the black woman. The black woman is the number one experiment. They experimented on you the most. Look at this nigga. And if she came to life, she she'd tell you to be down with the serpent. This is this is what we need. That nigga that 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 outfit's horrible, Joy. Like a fucking eighties elementary school teacher. It says. So these are the benefits. Joy I, Joy's ID allows her to carry out important activities. While issuing institutions save resources and improve efficiency. It's all about save, salvation, helping, you know, a, a better world and making life easier for you. And to eliminate child trafficking, you know, all of the, 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 the wicked things they do, you know, on a high level. But now they have a uh, solution for it. Eliminate ghost workers, improve service deliveries, mobile domestic resources. So your biometrics, which what are, what are biometrics? Let's look up the word. Biometrics. Biometric meaning. <clears throat> yep, biometrics. <laughs> Smart chips. Wow. No, well, no, it's just gonna stay in the phone. They don't, they don't plan on doing anything else with those those smart chips. Bi biometrics relating to or involving the application of statistical analysts to biological data. Biometrics are physical or behavioral human characteristics that can be used to digitally identify a person, grant them access, devices. To systems, devices, or data. Examples of these biometrics are fingerprints, facial patterns, voice, or type. And you can already on particular computers, you have to put in your, your fingerprint. You can put in your fingerprint as a form of ID. Your facial recognition. Which is what everybody's leading to. But I wonder what's the, the, the end-all be-all of this system. Okay. Well, there you go. Okay, but let's go back to Revelation 13 and 14. And receive it them and, de uh, and deceive it them that dwelleth on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had a wound by the sword and did live. So you're being made in their image. Okay? And it's going to be a uh, digital all. If you don't know what a digital all is, okay, when you go into the law, there was an all, okay, put into the ear of a servant who wanted to remain serving under a particular master, okay? Now, that wasn't always a negative thing, right? But in this sense, you're going to put in digital all somewhere, okay? And ultimately, you will be a servant to a particular owner, okay? So when you go into that word stigma, okay? And the elect are going to escape all of this. Because remember, in slavery, when you ran away from your owner, when he captured you, he'd brand you. It was a physical brand. Well, they're coming now with a digital one. But it's going to be presented as something that... uh you know, is beneficial for you. 
access to government services, financial institution, resilient voting systems, and institutional efficiencies. This is how you're going to get access to those things by a digital ID. Okay? So the scriptures... Let's get that in... Uh, and let's keep reading down. Revelation 13... And 15, he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, image of ancient Rome, lives through Babylon, the great America, NATO, the EU, the system, the ways, the government, the practices, the idol worship, everything that the ancient Roman, Western Roman Empire did was reborn at the time of the Renaissance into the earth. And it, and it fully lives now through America, the NATO and the EU. And if you don't worship this image, it says you would be killed. Now, that word killed, when you go into it in the Greek, that they should, uh, let me read it again. He had power to give life unto the image of the beast. All right, this is a technological wrong, okay? That the image of the beast should both speak and as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Now, that word killed, okay, because they're saying that this is Christianity, okay? Come on, man. Nobody give a damn about Christianity no more. Christianity has no bearing on the future of this world. That word for killed is henna, but when you go to the root word, he, he, I mean, hell no, nah, I ain't gonna do that one. Strong's G, 1438, Heatu. Heatu. Let me put her up. It says, uh, hold up. One second. Demonstrative idea. Hold up. I think I clicked on the wrong word. Killed is what I'm looking for. If you don't bow to the image of the beast, you will be killed. So lock you. <laughs> six 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 is the. Greek in that order. It seemed like they took off the meaning. You know what? I know exactly what the problem is. Salakia. It's G. Strong's G 615. Apartina. Apartina. All right. To inflict moral death, mortal death, to kill, right? And we die all the day long. So it's a spiritual and physical. If, you, if you're not down with this, what was going on, eventually laws are going to be passed that you be killed. And, and, and when you look at what this dude, uh, Prince Henry Jr., or whatever he is, uh, said yesterday at that summit, that climate summit, where Biden supposedly fell asleep, you know, a lot of people are going to have to go. It's today they're, they're, they're up and up the ante. And they gotta they they have but a short time to complete what they do. Now the word and the root word for killed is to be separated. And right now you're seeing if you're not bowing to the image, there's a separation happening. Of local separation. Okay. Separation of a part or a whole. Or from the whole. Any kind of separation of one thing from another by which union of fellowship of the two is destroyed. So you're seeing a separation right now for those who are willingly bowing, okay, and taking on this new religion, because that's all it is, and those who are not. You're starting to hear more draconian measures are going to come if you don't bow to this image. So the image is deeper than Christianity. You don't see any systems in this world forcing you. All right. In order for you to, you know, be accepted in society to, to accept Christianity. But we do see you having to bow to particular practices that are tied to idol worship that go back to ancient Rome. Okay. The ancient Roman Greco Roman God of, uh, Healing was a, you know, Asclepius. Look up Asclepius. Look it up. 
and you'll see something that's very similar to something you see today. And after that, in Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive haragma. All right, in their right hand and their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had haragma or the name of the beast or the number of his name, which is 666, chai size stigma. Stigma deals directly with something, all right, branded on you or put in you to show your alliance to the to the beast. And there's a particular video, let me go to the two through the two through <laughs> page. Okay. Two through an information, which right now I can't load. But let's see here. Let's see if it comes up. Here we go. Listen up. Most people forget the United Nations Religious Charter by David Spangler in 1978 said no one will enter into the New World Order, Global Reset, without a Luciferic initiation and without a pledge of allegiance to Lucifer. No one enters without an oath, right? So you put it all together. What do you think? Does this have anything to do with prophecy? Can prophecy identify this system and what's going on? Or are we just bugged out? Fear mongers and sea theories. Theor theorists. All right. Anyway, on to the next. Shalom.